Hi, this is Kim from KimberlyKohler.com and today I just wanted to do a little video to update you on the status of my mini binder art journal. I kind of showed you a little introduction and to what it was and what I was thinking about doing and today I wanted to show you what I've started doing. Um, this is basically a week worth of pages that I've done so far and I wanted to show them to you. I'm also going to have pictures over on my blog just still shots. So as I'm flipping through, in case I get a little too talky and it gets a little long and you prefer just to see the pictures, you can click on the link below this video to just see the photos themselves. Also, over on my blog, I'll put a link below this video, there is a prompt for you to use in your own art journal if you like. I'm going to show you an example from my um, art journal today how it worked out for me and but I also have a, a blog post to kind of give you the prompt and give you another example as well in a different art journal. You can check out that link below the video as well. So let's just go look in my mini binder art journal. Okay so here it is my mini binder art journal. It's still pretty boring on the outside. I haven't done a cover for it. If you saw the first video it has a little area I can slide in, I could make a page and slide it in. So I haven't decided what to do on the cover yet and that's kind of a problem for me sometimes with art journals, but I will do a cover. Just not yet. So let's just flip through what I have so far. So for the first video there was this ruler. I decided just to keep it in here in case I needed to make a straight line. It's right there. We have this envelope page, which I did put a mini kind of journal in here that I made myself. I was originally thinking I might just keep a daily tab of what I did each day, but I haven't been doing that so far. So I'm not sure that that's going to stay in there or exactly what I'm going to do with it, but we'll see. It will change. So now we get to the pages. So I'm just going to show them to you and like tell you a little bit about them. Like I mentioned a little bit ago, if I drone on too long about this and you just want to see the pages already, just click the link below this video that takes you to a blog post. There will be pictures so you can just see them. So this is a collage I did. And so the background is actually scrapbook paper. I didn't draw this. It's scrapbook paper. And then it's kind of like a little mini collage. And this is scrapbook paper. This one is. This is actually fabric. And I have a little technique for making fabric easy to use in art journaling. And I actually teach it in my Inspired eCourse. This is the back of the page. And it's just the back of the scrapbook paper and I just left it as is because I kind of like it and so I just left it. So I've had to think about this art journal a little differently. It's made me think differently because in my regular bound art journals usually I would do a two page spread so the, the art journal page quote unquote would actually be two pages typically not always but often I would do that. In this art journal I'm not doing that because there's like a space in between that kind of separates the pages and there are ways that you can deal with this. Like if I would just fold a sheet of paper in half and pull it, pull it open, then they would stay together and then you could just flip. But I'm just, I'm just like experimenting in this journal. So I'm kind of doing something, I'm going to show you here in a second, where I'm thinking of the pages as a front and a back instead of looking across the page. So you'll see more of that as we get through this a little bit. Also the fun part, like one of the major reasons I wanted to try this kind of binder situation and adding my own pages in was that you can add all kinds of different stuff in, different sizes, different materials. So this is a postcard. I have a set of these so they'll probably show up throughout this art journal. And I simply just wrote a quote on the back. It's a nature quote and it's, it's postcard had some flowers and stuff on it so it kind of makes sense to me. So that's that and I'm going to be able to add stuff like that throughout this art journal which is awesome. 
Okay, so this page is actually right out of one of my favorite books, The Velveteen Rabbit. And I have a few copies of this, a couple that I art journal with, and one that I just keep just as is, I don't touch. But this is one that I got for like 50 cents at a flea market, and it was in bad shape, but I don't feel bad about cutting it up to use it in my art journals then. So this is the title page, and I collage this flower on it. And then the back, the art is really beautiful in it. So this was what was in the book, and I added the butterflies, the, the colored butterflies. There's some kind of brown and tan butterflies as well. This is me just painting stripes in watercolor, doing a nice rainbow. And then here's another postcard and another quote on the back. And it's another nature quote. And then this page is the background is actually scrapbook paper so I didn't paint this but I did draw this flower here and then these butterflies are also the fabric butterflies and I put a little quote that I find inspiring because I feel like I run out of time all the time and so this quote is kind of helps me remember that other beings in this case butterflies they don't count their time in months, but just in the moments, every moment they have, and yet they still have time. So it's just a good reminder. And again, I just left the back of the paper just be the back of the scrapbook paper. This is the design it was. I'm probably going to be adding these little cards throughout, too. These are Project Life cards, and I don't do Project Life so much anymore. There was a time I did and I went crazy. I have lots of cards. So I went through my collection of Project Life cards, pulled out ones I really loved, and I'm just going to add them throughout. So in this case, I simply just added the card. I like looking at it. It's pretty. You can flip it. This collage here does have a Project Life card on it. And this is just from a magazine and the back is a scrapbook paper. And then here I have this set up. So again, this is another Project Life card, and I wrote a quote on it, and I wanted to put this quote on this image, but I just kind of loved the image just the way it was, so I just added it to a piece of paper to make it stronger. It was It's from a book, an old book, and it has a deer and a little baby deer. And so I just decided, since I'm using this binder you can come up with different creative ways so this quote goes with this picture but I'm able to flip it and just have this beautiful picture and then on, in this particular case this layout if you want to call it that continues on the back so I use this quote I go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in order okay and I had this idea of like using quotes, possibly poems, as a jumping off point for journaling in my art journal. So in the back of here, I have a list of my own words. So I go to nature too, and then I just made a list. And I did a whole blog post on this, so you can go over to my blog and see how I put this together. I have another example as well with this same quote. The link is below the video. And then, I think this might be the last, yeah. This is the last little collage. It's just strips of paper. It's mostly scrapbook paper. And I did do watercolor on the back, the background. So I simply just um, painted watercolor and then layered up the different scraps of paper. In the introduction video, I showed you the mixed media notebook I got that I you could tear out the pages and I did they were perforated so it was easy and then I hole punched them and put the whole thing in here just so I'd have something in here to work with so when I want to do one of these collages with watercolor in the background I have the paper here ready to go I don't have to find a hole punch I don't have to find a paper it's just right here 
So I did want to show you I did do that. And there's a couple other kinds of paper in here. Um, this is just uh, craft paper. It's cardstock. It's a little thicker. This is another piece of scrapbook paper already ready. I'll probably add some more as we go along. That's all I really have right now. So then I have this section here. So often when I'm reading or I don't know, just various things, I come across quotes. I ran down a slip of paper. They're all over the place. I don't usually lose them per se, but I just wanted a place where I could just keep things. And I often like to use quotes in my art journaling too, so I thought, well, why not just put them in my art journal? So I have a section here where I can just write down quotes. And then I just I just used watercolor on the paper I showed you, the mixed media paper. So I have a few pages ready for that. And then on top of that I have a couple poems that I wanted that I really touched me. I just copied down I was reading them out of a library book, so it's not my book. So I just kind of wrote them down, put them in here. I might do something more with them. I might just use them as is and maybe add some drawing or watercolors or I, I mean, I, I may just leave them in here and use them in a different way as a starting off point. And then also, when you are art journaling or really doing anything creative, creativity kind of begets more creativity. So I often have ideas for other things. So I made a little section here also for ideas. So I can just continue to add that as need be too. So that is where we are so far in my mini binder art journal and I invite you to come over to my blog to look at pictures of these maybe you'll be able to see them a little bit better and you can also get a prompt for your own art journal over there using that nature prompt that I did on this page here so I will continue to update you on these. I'm probably going to, I haven't started doing this yet, but I'll probably start adding these pages to Instagram. So you can check that out. Um, I'm just Kimberly Kohler over there. K-I-M-B-E-R-L-I-E-K-O-H-L-E-R. And you can keep up with it that way. And I'll do these little videos probably every week or so. And you can find out more about art journaling, some other prompts, some of my other pages, that sort of thing over on my blog. So I hope you'll come check it out.